and I'm not on the ankle, I'm in the middle of the calf. I've got nothing good. I can decide where his knee goes. You guys see that? With no leg control, all right? So when you're on the bottom here, you should be torquing and cranking with that overhook to adjust his knee position. If your arm is loose, he has way too much mobility, all right? With no leg control, I can decide where his knee goes if this arm is tight. Now imagine if you had your legs assisting, okay? So a lot of you, this arm's getting looser and looser and looser and looser. Be cranking all the time, as if you're gonna ankle lock him, you know? Even if you're not gonna ankle lock him, even if your arm's in the middle of the calf, just do it because it makes his knee bend. Once his knee bends, your legs manipulating him is real easy, okay? So don't have that arm be weak, don't have it be loose, and certainly don't have it just sitting there. Make sure it's overhooking, make sure it's cranking, okay? Another thing, when we say go, I'm seeing a lot of people like kind of collapse their hips, and then they try to start fighting from being behind of the hand fight, right? Like, um, act like it's important, right? So if he's on my ankle here, and we say go, I wanna see his hips go, I wanna see this immediately. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's important. Because my intention, I have ill will towards him if I'm in this position, right? So don't act like it's cool to relax your hips, then work out later. You've gotta put work in your hips, in the overhook, to make sure that he's off balance. 